Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, founder and CTO of PolicyPack Software and Enterprise Mobility MVP. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take your existing on-prem group policy settings and get them over there to your endpoints that can be even not domain joined alongside with Microsoft Endpoint Manager and PolicyPack. How do we do it? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this example. Uh, the idea here is that we've got a GPO chock full of stuff. For instance, here's some computer side security settings. Uh, some of these items may be available in uh, Intune land. Some of them aren't. So for instance, I'm manipulating the rename the guest account and you can see I've renamed that to PP guest. And if I were to go dive down under say uh, user side preferences and head on over here, uh, there's a bunch of things you might want to do. You might want to set an arbitrary registry setting. Like in this case, I'm setting double click speed for the mouse to 604 where its normal value is 500. This could be anything. This could be for a third party app or any app you want. Not only that, PolicyPack can also take advantage of the existing group policy preferences item level targeting. So if you specify that this particular item should only take effect on portable machines or when the computer name is, you know, lab machines or a particular MAC address range or file exists, PolicyPack will support all of this quickly and easily, no brain power involved. Same thing with a group policy preferences shortcut or really any of the group policy preferences. Policy Pack supports all these. So for instance, in this example, I've got a, a shortcut called www.policypack.com and it's going to head on over to the desktop. And we're going to do that only when the machine has got the computer name with the NetBIOS name that has NDJ for not domain joined in its machine name. Okay. Another setting that I might want to set is a group policy preferences item for devices where I want to kill my evil CD-ROMs, okay? Do a little bit of device control and do not enable my CD-ROMs. So if it is enabled, I'm gonna disable it. And then we might also wanna set an admin template setting, something that just doesn't exist. Um, Microsoft Endpoint Manager has a, a lot of new uh, settings uh, from time to time. If you go to um, under devices and you go to uh, Windows and then you go to configuration profiles, you'll see that Microsoft Endpoint Manager uh, does get new features from time to time, but it's just not the same kind of parity level that you'd find inside the box for admin templates for group policy. So for instance, if I wanted to uh, look for control panel stuff and I go to next here, uh, I'm just using this as an example. Oh, look, you can see computer control panel, but under there, there's, a, a, there's only two settings here for personalization. Oh, that's weird. And if I go to user side configuration control panel, uh, I, there's only there's only one set, there's only, a, 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 you know, printers, there's only a couple of things here for control panel, not, not, not very much. However, if you look inside the Microsoft admin, Microsoft side policies, admin templates under control panel, just doing an AB comparison, you'll see, aha, this is where all the good stuff is. Okay. All sorts of interesting settings here by way of example. For instance, one of the settings that I might want to do is this guy show only specified control panel items. And maybe I want to trim the control panel just so sh to just show sound and date and time. This is just something that's not available inside uh, of Intune land at present. Okay, so uh, those are all group policy settings. And then you might want to also do like a policy pack setting. So let's go ahead and do that too. Let's use our very famous file associations manager for Windows 10. And uh, let's go ahead and create a new policy here real quick. We'll just do a PDFs to Acrobat reader. Okay, very simple. We'll then go ahead and create a file type of PDF. And then we'll specify the program we want itself is going to be uh, Acrobat reader. Okay, that has to exist on the endpoint. And that's it. We've made our file association just like that. So now that we've got everything locked and loaded inside of a GPO, what does it take to, to get it lifted and shifted over to Microsoft Endpoint Manager and over to our endpoint? Well, it's pretty easy. All you need to do is do a quick export of each of the things. I've got a folder here called Out1 that I'm going to use here. I'll go ahead and close this out. I've got this folder here called Out1, and this is where I'm going to stuff all the all the uh, XML files I need. So what I can do is I can take this and just rip it and drag it there. There's my first one. I'll go ahead and do the same thing for my group policy preferences items that I mentioned earlier, my, uh, reg my arbitrary registry setting. I'll go ahead and drag that guy over. I'll take my shortcut item that I made earlier. I'll drag that guy over. I'll take my devices item. That's a group policy preferences item and drag that over. Again, we can do this for any group policy preferences item as well. Now to deal with the, the, um, uh, security setting. This is a little bit different. There's no way to drag and drop that. So what we do is we give you a little exporter routine that's called the, that's called the uh, security settings manager wizard. And we're just going to read what's inside the GPO. We find it, 
We then let you export it and we'll go ahead and chuck it right into that same exact folder here. So we'll call it PP Security out one okay so that'll show up there in that folder too so we're just building building the collection of settings that we want the last thing we want to do is this i of that admin template that control panel admin template item um, so in order to get to that we have a little external exporter utility that we have on our download and that is called the group policy merge utility this has a couple of different functions it will help you merge gpos on prem to have less total GPOs, very advantageous for very large and also medium-sized organizations. And what we can do as well is export those admin template settings. I'm going to manually select that one GPO that I created earlier, Okay, my demo GPO. If you had lots of GPOs, you wanted to export them uh, with the admin template settings to Microsoft Endpoint Manager, you could do that really easily too. I'm going to export that show only specified control panel items type, and I'm going to export those selected policies and drop it right into that little out box that I created earlier. PPATM export one. Oops. All right. So now that I've got my real group policy settings, my real group policy preferences settings, and my real uh, policy pack settings all in one place, it's time to get them over to my Microsoft Endpoint Manager. How am I going to do that? Well, you have to wrap it up into a little MSI and we give you this utility called the policy pack exporter utility. So we're going to create a new MSI installer here. We're going to add existing files from the out folder that we just created earlier. Let's just suck them all in and then we can sort and take a look at what's going on here. We can see, hey look, there's our uh, registry item in preferences manager. There's our kill the uh, CD-ROMs preferences item. There is my shortcut preferences item. Um, there is my uh, there's my control panel item that needs to go to the computers and not the users. And there is my file associations, my policy pack file associations items. So said another way, you take any item you want in group policy land, Microsoft, security, group policy preferences or admin templates, plus all of policy packs, magical settings. You drop them to XML, you wrap them up as an MSI, which we're about to do. And we'll call this PPMDM one, two, three. Okay, and now we've got it ready to go. We've got this. We've got this MSI ready to go. Now let's go over to Microsoft Endpoint Manager and see what's next. So what we'll do is we'll go over to Apps here. We'll go over to Windows and let's take a look at our Windows apps. So. In order to make the magic happen, there's three things that need to get deployed on the client. Thing number one, the policy pack client side extension. The policy pack client side extension is the thing that makes it go. So I've already got this pre assigned to all of my computers uh, that are Windows 10. The second thing to make it go is the MDM licenses. There's a license per MDM environment, and in this case, I'm already licensed and wired up and ready to go. If I were to click add here, this is where I'm going to then take my Windows 10 line of business app. We're going to select the MSI we created together earlier. Select the app package file. Go ahead and select this guy. And this is going to be my PPMDM123. I'm going to assign it to, uh, I'll go ahead and give this, uh, yes, yeah, so I'll go ahead and put that here. So policy pack group group policy and policy pack settings. I can give this a name, call it your company, that's fine. And then you are off to the races. Go ahead and click next. The assignments, I'm going to assign this for all devices just to make it easy on myself for the sake of this demonstration. Of course, you could assign it to groups. And then that's it. Now that we are done here, this takes a minute to sort of uh, do its thing. So here we are on our endpoint. Let's go ahead and take a look around before we download all these items from our Intune environment. So the before picture would be, let's go ahead and start off in, in control panel land. Uh, we can see, yep, lots and lots of icons. Remember, when this is over, we're going to be trimming this to a very small subset with our admin templates item. Let's go ahead and open a command prompt. Let's take a look at um, the group policy security settings. We said that the guest account, we're going to have that renamed. So if we run GP. Uh, edit.msc here. Let's go ahead and take a look at what it is beforehand. Windows, we go ahead and take a look at security settings under local policies, under security settings. Uh, we can see the guest account not renamed yet. Okay, so we'll go ahead and leave this window open over here. Let's also create uh, another command prompt here. Whoops, just regular command prompt is fine. And let's do a, a reg edit. Okay, and I said I wanted to have an arbitrary registry setting. Go for H key current user control panel 
mouse and I wanted to set this value of double click speed from 500 to 604. Okay, uh, we also said we didn't want any evil CD-ROMs, so let's make sure we don't, oh, we can see our evil CD-ROMs, that's fine right now, and after the fact that should go away. And lastly, we said that when we open up a PDF, uh, maybe we don't want it to open up in Edge, although I think Edge is a perfectly fine PDF reader, but if you don't want to open it up in Edge, we told uh, earlier that we want to open it up in Acrobat Reader. So. I'm going to click on my MDM environment. I'm going to click sync and then I'm going to wait for everything to install. Remember, we're installing three things, the policy pack client side extension, the policy pack licenses and the policy pack bundle of settings that comes down to actually perform the work that has both group policy, group policy preferences and group policy security settings in them. So I'll pause the video and come back as soon as this is done. And we're back now that uh, Intune has deployed the three moving pieces. We can see some things have changed. First, we can see the icon here on the desktop, this group policy preferences item on the desktop, going to policypack.com, of course, and opening up Edge as the browser. Next, we said to use uh, PolicyPack to uh, open up PDFs in Acrobat Reader. And sure enough, we're able to do that. Go ahead and just see this uh, white paper called Why Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admins Need Policy Pack, available at our website, policypack.com. And then let's go ahead and take a look at some other items. We said, don't show me Mr. Evil CD-ROM anymore. And you can see no more D drive, no CD-ROM. That's not a thing anymore. Let's go ahead uh, from the admin side, go to gpedit.msc. We set to rename the guest account, a very important security setting. Uh, Okay, let's go to local policy security options and bam, using Intune and Policy Pack, we're able to take pretty much any security setting and get that delivered. We also said to uh, art, do any kind of arbitrary registry setting, reg edit. And you saw me earlier, I had a little uh, uh, five, I had 500 for my double click speed. Now it's 604. All these values are being delivered. All the things, group policy preferences items, Group policy items. Oh, I didn't show you the, the, the control panel. Here we go. The limited control panel. So I know I just covered a lot of things. I covered a lot of different areas in group policy. So I covered admin templates here. I covered group policy preferences here. I covered group policy security settings when I renamed the guest account. And I covered policy pack settings. It's all exactly the same. You're going to take your existing on-prem group policy settings, group policy preferences settings, and group policy security settings, plus your policy pack settings, export them, get them into XML format, wrap them up as an MSI, and then use your Intune to do the magic. PolicyPack can help you immediately close the gap between what you need to do on your endpoints and what's capable with Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Hope this video helps you out. I'm looking forward to getting you started with PolicyPack real soon. Thank you very much.